In this video, we're doing integration using partial fractions. And we're going to start off with the same problem that we did in the partial fractions lecture. So we're going to start off by factoring the bottom. The bottom would factor as x plus 5 and x minus 3. We now want to break up this original fraction as a over x plus 5 plus b over x minus 3. And we want to make a common denominator. So the a is going to be needed to multiply by x minus 3. The b is going to need to be multiplied by x plus 5. So I've got a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 5. And that needs to equal the numerator of the original problem, 5x minus 7. If that doesn't make sense to you, then you should watch the previous video on partial fractions. We now want to choose an x value that will make a 0. For our first piece, x equals 3 creates a 0. If I plug in the 3 for x with the rest of my function, I'm going to have 8b is equal to 8. So b is 1. I now know that I can substitute that 1 in for b. For my second piece, I need x is negative 5. So if I plug in a negative 5 in for x, I would get negative 8a is equal to negative 32. So a is 4. I can now plug in a 4 for my a value. So my original problem can now be broken up into two integrals. My first integral would be 4 over x plus 5 dx. My second integral would be 1 over x minus 3 dx. Now we've got two fairly simple integrals. In my first integral, uh, if I push the 4 out front, I have 1 over x plus 5 dx. Now I can think of this as a u sub if u is x plus 5, then du is dx, and I have a dx. So this is really integrating 4 times 1 over u du which would be 4 natural log absolute value of u, which was x plus 5. Now, that's going to happen a lot. You're going to get natural log, so start thinking that way. In our second problem, again, we have a u sub x minus 3. du is dx, so I'm integrating 1 over u du, which would then give us plus natural log absolute value uh, my second u sub was x minus 3 plus c. Let's do one more example. In my second example, again, I'm going to start by factoring the bottom. The bottom factors as x minus 2, x plus 1. Separate that into a over x minus 2 plus b over x plus 1. I'm going to need to multiply the a by the x plus 1, the b by x minus 2. So I have a over x plus 1 plus b over x minus 2 is equal to the numerator, x minus 9, just like the last problem. I'm looking for a convenient x value that will make a 0. x is negative 1 works. If I plug in the negative 1, for my x's, I would get negative 3b is equal to negative 10. So b would be 10 thirds. Choose a convenient x value for the second piece. This time, x is 2. I'm going to plug in my 2 in for my x's. That would give me 3a is equal to 2 minus 9 is negative 7. A is negative 7 thirds. Now realize we don't flinch over the fractions because sometimes we get fractions. 
separate the original problem now into two pieces. My A was negative 7 thirds over x minus 2 dx plus the integral of my B was 10 thirds over x plus 1 dx. Now, I don't really care about the fractions. I could put them out front. Negative 7 thirds integral 1 over x minus 2 dx plus 10 thirds 1 over x plus 1 dx. Again, we're u subbing with natural logs here. u is x minus 2, du is dx. So we have negative 7 thirds natural log absolute value x minus 2 plus same thing on this side 10 thirds natural log absolute value x plus 1 plus c.